George, uh, interesting draw. Uh, what, what do you make of uh, the draw today coming up against Sundowns? Yes, it is absolutely an exciting draw for, for us. We all know that uh, Stellenbosch is the benchmark in our league. Fantastic team, very, very great, organized, structured, fantastic coach. So all in all, yes, it will be an exciting game for us and hopefully this time we can do it again better and win again them, against them again. Uh, it will be a really, really long days for us to make a game plan because they don't have actually so many weakness in their team. But all in all, we are very happy to have an uh, opportunity to play against uh, Sundowns again in, in the Cup. And we will try our best and see what the outcome can bring. One of very few teams to have beaten Sundowns recently. Coach, what does it take in terms of planning on how to get around this Sundowns team? Oh, it plans a lot because when they go with the fullbacks up or with the one uh, center defender into the middle to, to, to add more players up front, it's not easy to make a game plan because every player on us has to defend and play offensive again. So. All in all, it will be a very, very great, exciting days in front of us when we face Sundowns because we will, of course, spend a lot of time to make a great game plan. The last time when we beat them, they were or we were like talking that we played Catanacho. I think that we didn't play Catanacho, we, we just played a uh, discipline, we follow the fullbacks. So all in all, we will try our best and hopefully again that we can take the game in, in our hands and, and win it, of course. Don't you, India, pronounce your second full season now? And Third season. Third full season. And we're starting to see the fruits of your labor now. The Mafana squad, you know, Obas, uh, Jana, you know, players are all going to big teams now. Do you think that's an advocate for, you know, being a very good coach and adding a, a lot to this league? No. Thank you very much. Uh, I think it's my it's my uh, meaning about it. A coach, it's also a job to improve players. And I think that we showed the last two seasons now. Me, of course, with my entire staff, that we improved so many players. I think we sold this year, or like actually the last season, seven players to the big teams in our league and also abroad so of course we are proud about it because it's not easy to improve players in this kind of short period that uh, the big teams are coming and try and get the players from our club so we of course we are proud about it and we are even more proud that uh, we actually took four players to the final squad because I know that before I came they were not playing so, so much. After two years with hard work from the players' side, they deserve to get a call up for Fana. And we are as a staff, as a coach, of course, you are proud about it if you see this kind of players succeed. Would it be fair, coach, to say maybe Pirates have shown the other teams that uh, maybe it's possible to have a goal at Sundowns and not always you know, back off and let them come at you? I think that we have to be honest and say Orlando is also a very, very fantastic team. It's not only Sundowns. You, are, you also as a Chiefs in our group, you also have Cape Town, you also have a lot of other clubs that they improved a lot. But all in all, Orlando and Chiefs, in my view, they should always compete to win the league and not be happy for the second place. Because why? Top club, top coach, top players. And it will be nice that we have more, more excitement up front. That is not only Sundowns now; they are with many points ahead. So, but I think with this squad that Orlando has, and also the Chiefs, everything they can to compete, and they will. Do you think the gap has closed? It's a long season until May, so everything can happen. So I think that Orlando now, after the cup winning, that they will get even more the momentum, more the, the, the motivation, and they have, I think, three games behind us. So if they win all the three games, it will be again, they will be in the top 
upset. So I think that Orlando and Chiefs, of course, they can uh, go because with the, of course, with the financial power, with the players they have, with the coaches they have, I think it will be an exciting league still until May. And last question, coach. I'm sure you still follow your former players. Are you surprised with Simango uh, that he hasn't been playing this last couple of games? And what have you made of him uh, since he joined Chiefs? In in your life, like just in uh, soccer, it's not always that the sun shines. Sometimes the the rain comes. But like I know, given a very hard working guy, professional, disciplined. I will be absolutely not surprised that he bounces back and get and comes stronger as it was. He is a fantastic player, and yes, the the squad what she says a lot of great players. It's not easy, so you have to fight. You have to fight for your place, and this is I think that he has the uh, character to bounce back. Absolutely. Thank you.